The Bible tells us that God is love. He is the perfect embodiment of love, and we rely heavily on the constancy and universal reach of that love. There are many ways to describe and speak of divine love. One of the terms we hear often today is that God's love is unconditional. Well, in one sense, that is true. The descriptor unconditional appears nowhere in Scripture. Rather, his love is described in Scripture as great and wonderful love, perfect love, redeeming love, and everlasting love. These are better terms because the word unconditional can convey mistaken impressions about divine love. Jesus said, As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. To continue in or abide in the Savior's love means to receive His grace and be perfected by it. To receive His grace, we must have faith in Jesus Christ and keep His commandments, including repenting of our sins, being baptized for the remission of sins, receiving the Holy Ghost, and continuing in the path of obedience. From the Book of Mormon, we learn that the intent of Christ's suffering, the ultimate manifestation of His love, was to bring about the bowels of mercy which overpowereth justice, and bring up about means unto men that they may have faith unto repentance. And thus mercy can satisfy the demands of justice. Indeed, God does rain down upon all His children all the blessings He can, all the blessings that love and law and justice and mercy will permit. And he commands us to be likewise generous. I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be the children of your Father which is in heaven.